So welcome to day two then of the new SO7 season. If we can live up to day one, it should be a good day today. The first race on the card today is the Four Amigos Maiden Chase, which is a three mile five furlong maiden. Uh, let's get a look at the full list of the runners. Top one is Arbor Lodge for Paul Rhodes, Geralt, Paul O'Neill, Lost Poet, C. Beckwith, Motifari, Danai, Alex Cherry, Not Now Never, James Shea, Westwire Rush, Martin Lidham, Yesero, Darren Thompson, Amelia Farley, Graham Klutzbuck, Await Your Reply, Leon Van Rinsburg, Chingford Cross, Hems, Fiddler's Woman's, Derek Hinton, Isabel Reform, Davy Ladd, Maritza T. Rogers, Merrill's Golly, Daniel French, National Pastime, Joshua Sutherland, and Pride of Oak for John Morgan. So, 16 then. Facing the starter. On the first race on day two. And away they go then. Starting off on a bit of a bend. And Pride of Oak is going to be the first one to show. Looks like a front running John Morgan horse. is very quickly put four lengths between himself and the rest of the field. The one out the back is Maritza. But it's... Pride of Oak comes to the first in the lead. It's a big ditch and as they all stream over that one. They're all safely to the other side with Pride of Oak. No, not. Chingford Cross is gone. So Chingford Cross must have been slightly obscured there then. So that one's out. And I've got a feeling that one ran in the Trial Grand National last week and didn't get around then either. So well, maybe seem to over hurdles for a few weeks. They come down two to the third then. And we see them all over that one this time. It's Pride of Oak who's in the lead. But Lost Poet up the centre of the track is now... Almost on terms as they take number four. The fence is coming up thick and fast. And Pride of Oak lead is probably about a length as they make their way up the straight. And passing the stand shortly. And the winning post. They got another couple of times to go around yet. But Pride of Oak's the leader. Lost Poet is second. Past the winning post in two more circuits to go. And Yesero has moved into third. Then comes the Grey Geralt. With Motifari Danai after that one. And Merrill's Golly and Arbor Lodge. Fiddler's Woman's after that one. Interesting name from Derek. Quite some interesting names. And Pride of Oak is the leader. With Lost Poet. Now almost up alongside for about a three quarters of a length. A length behind. A gap then of about three. To Motifari Danai and Ganolt. Who are disputing third with Merrill's Golly. And they're with them as they take number five. And they're all over that one, okay. Yeah, Pride of Oak and Lost Poet continuing to show the way. Still an awful long way to go. Maybe some of these will be Welsh national band later in the season. Oh, there's a fall of there. Something's crashed out. Yes, a row's gone. So it's more like no a row for Yes, a row. Oh, Skids out there then, and Lost Poet trying to poke his head into the lead. Lost Poet and Pride of Oak at this plain one. Over in the lead, slow jump by the Alex Chivas, and another faller at the back there. Fiddler's Woman's gone. So Derek's horse is, I think it's Derek's horse, Fiddler's Woman's is out of the race. As they take the next, so plenty of fallers then. Another mistake there back in the field. That time it was not now, never that made the mistake. The horse that made a mistake the fence before was Motifari Danai of Alex Cherries. But it's Pride of Oak at this play one in the lead. There, good jump by Lost Poet. Sees that one go into the lead. And I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the casualties in this race the way some of them are jumping. Two of them are a bit novicey, and these are not novices either. But it's Lost Poet by about a head to Pride of Oak in second. Gap of four lengths then to Motifari Danai in third. Geralt is after that one, and Merrill's Golly and Arbor Lodge. In the first mention, Westwise Rush after that one. And uh, Amelia Farley and Isabel Reform, the second of the Greys. On this long run now towards the next, and uh, Pride of Oak has regained the lead. And there's a length clear of Lost Poet. Who's in turn, four lengths clear of Motifari Danai as I take this ditch. Let's see them over that one. And they've all got over it this time. Just under two miles still to race. And this. Plain fence comes up next. Good jump there by the Alex Cherry Horse Motifari Danai. I've seen that going to a clear third. They're quite well strung out. Looking towards the back. Await your reply. The surprise back mark on the leader made a dreadful mistake there. And there's another fall. And Merrill's golly has gone. So by golly gosh, that one's gone. And oh, the leader made a mistake again. Now this is most un-Morgan-like jumping from Pride of Oak, who's now 
Having to be scrubbed along to get back up into the lead. He's obviously where he wants to be. They're going to come up past the stand. And we've lost four. And we could have lost a good four more, I think. It's lost Poet and Pride of Oak. Still disputing the lead as they were last time round. But will they be next time round? Little gap back to Motifar and Dunai. Then the Grey Geralt. Just behind them is Arbor Lodge. They've still got that little blip with the Paul Road silks. And then Westwire Rush in the purple jackets get a little bit closer. Isabel Reform, the grey, the second of the greys is next. Then the green jacketed Maritza has got a little bit closer. Amelia Farley, the current leader of the championship. Graham Clutterbuck behind that one. And not now, never. National pastime towards the back. And await your reply. The Leon van Rensburg horse is the back marker. So there's plenty of action still to come in this one as they race the 14th. And the leader jumped that one much better than he's jumped a few before. And has suddenly put three lengths between himself and Lost Poet. Geralt is going nicely in third. West by Rush is the one that's been creeping ever closer in the purple jacket as they come to this ditch. And over that one they go. And Pride of Oak leads by three to Lost Poet. Marafari, Danai, Geralt have been up there all the way. Isabel Reform also. We're in a nice race. Westwire rush after that one. Amelia Farley jock have a little look round as they come to that ditch. And it looks like the leader has got his act together because he took that one really quickly. And he's now probably five clear. And Pride of Oak then at this next one. And again a good jump. The rest of them getting over it okay. And one or two of them seem to have got their acts together on the jumping front. Didn't see any any pull-ups yesterday, I don't think so. The pull-ups are going to normally get some in these long-distance races. A good jump on the outside there. Look look at this away. Your reply. It was last a minute ago. And now it's just come swinging on the steel around the outside. And it's going to come to challenge for the lead. So, could this be another Leon van Rensburg monster? Because it's just quickly gone past them. Like it's got a Formula 1 engine underneath the saddle. And it's away. Your reply. Isabel Reform's trying to go with it. Pride of Oaks sort of saying, what's going on here? I'm supposed to be in the lead. Geralt is now... Also gone up to challenge that one for a third, but wait, your reply could win a stolen this at the five furlong point. They come down towards the next. It's a good two lengths clear of Isabel Reform in second. Gap back to Garok third. Westwire rushes fourth. Over that ditch, she went through it a little bit, but got over it okay. They're well strung out, these. And await your reply comes down towards the third last, gets over it nicely. Chased by the two greys, Isabel Reform and Garot. Westwire rush back in fourth. Then Arbor Lodge, Lost Poet, Motifari, Danai, Pride of Oaks gone at the back. Oh, that leader nearly went then as well. Await your reply took a real risk at that one, but got away with it. And he's racing down towards the final fence, gets over that one nicely. There's probably got enough under the tank to still get away and win this. It's an interesting race this has been. And await your reply is going to race up towards the line. And I by a good three or four lengths, but gave the trainer one or two scares with the jumps later on. But what a turn of foot it showed at the five furlong point. Isabel Reform and Garot chasing him down towards the line. I think he's just about got a hold on. The line he wins by an ever diminishing couple of lengths from Isabel Reform and Garot. And the field will trail back to Lost Poet, who's probably last in the end. So maybe those two front runners cut their own throats. Uh, Pride of Oak eventually. Falling after making a lot of mistakes, but uh, await your reply. A very, very interesting performance there. Uh, blistering turn of foot at the five furlong point, but then just didn't have a lot left at the end. Await your reply, the winner then for Leon van Rensburg, Isabel Reform for David Robertson, second, Geralt for Paul O'Neill, third, Motifari Danai for Alex Cherry, fourth, and Arbor Lodge for Paul Rhodes, run on to be fifth. <laughs>